Despite the multitasking involved with being the president, Trump still finds a way to enrich himself and his family financially. So today we wanted to check in on one particularly insidious way Trump and his family have been profiting, specifically from a policy that was supposed to benefit the low-income communities Trump promised to help. This is the check-in. When then-candidate Trump was campaigning for the presidency, back when the words President Trump sounded like one of those silly oxymorons like jumbo shrimp or moderate Republican, <laughs> he was promising to help America's impoverished communities. And he did it in the only way Donald Trump knows how, by insulting the very people he was trying to convince to vote for him. Look how much African-American communities have suffered under Democratic control. To those I say the following, what do you have to lose? Look, what do you have to lose? You're living in poverty. Your schools are no good. You have no jobs. 58% of your youth is unemployed. What the hell do you have to lose? Jesus. He tried to sell his policies the same way drug dealers try to sell meth. Look, you're living in poverty. You got no job. Why not let Crystal take the wheel for a while? <laughs> what do you got to lose? And Trump actually instituted a policy which he claimed was specifically meant to build up America's abandoned cities and towns. Tucked away in the unpopular GOP tax bill was a specific tax benefit referred to as Opportunity Zones, which sounds like a weird sex manual from the 70s, you know? <laughs> Things were dead and in the bed with Barb and I, but after I found her Opportunity Zone, it's a whole other story. But Trump's tax bill contained an incentive that allows investors to delay paying taxes if they agree to invest money into an area that desperately needs it, or as it's known, an opportunity zone. In theory, it sounds like a good idea. Distressed communities need better schools and housing, and that requires money. Investors are hesitant to pour cash into areas that may not turn a profit, so the administration is offering benefits for them to take that risk. But the problem with opportunity zones is that only one of those promises has been fulfilled the one where wealthy people made even more money. Reports show that the multi-billion dollar tax break that is supposed to help low-income areas has fueled a wave of developments financed by and built for the wealthiest Americans. And of course, the wealthiest Americans are benefiting. The Trump presidency is like an M. Night Shyamalan movie if all the twists are super obvious. <laughs> Donald Trump would have titled The Sixth Sense, Bruce Willis is Dead. <laughs> and of course, some of those wealthy Americans reaping the benefits of this program include Trump's own family. Jared Kushner is selling his stake in a company that benefited from the tax breaks that he personally pushed for. The Kushner family already owns real estate on the Jersey Shore, but spent an extra $13 million in Long Branch after the area was deemed an opportunity zone. Kushner has projects in other opportunity zones, including Jersey City and Maryland, that could get a boost in value, all raising the question, who really profits? Jerry Kushner, what a coincidence that the president's son-in-law who works in the White House would benefit financially. I guess he's in an opportunity zone. <laughs> so Jerry Kushner, the moray eel who was kissed by a princess and turned halfway into a prince, is making a killing. So how? How exactly are the wealthy like Kushner benefiting from this plan? Well, the vague language of the law leaves it up to investors to decide what kind of projects and developments they want to build. There's nothing that forces them to actually help low-income communities. On top of that, the qualifications for what defines an opportunity zone are extremely broad, which defeats the very purpose of this program. Clear pattern so far is if you're an investor and you're going to invest in a, in a zone, are you going to do it in a developed city that's already gentrified, or are you going to do it in a truly distressed part of the country that is going to be a risk? So a lot of the money is going to be toward the shore investment, which in this case we're already seeing is in the highly developed, already expensive, highly high em employment parts of the country. Some opportunity zones have also been criticized for not being economically distressed. Almost 200 of the zones qualified simply by being next to low income areas. So the whole concept of opportunity zones sounds great, but it is actually terrible. It's basically R. Kelly. Sounds great is actually terrible. And this is reportedly... 
This is reportedly becoming the norm for this program. According to the New York Times, recent Opportunity Zone projects include an upscale apartment building in New Rochelle, New York, with a yoga studio and 24-hour valet parking. There's even a spa for residents' pets. A spa for pets is not the kind of thing that helps America's inner cities. That is not what they were crying out for. I'm having trouble finding work and paying rent, but the real issue is my cat desperately needs a salt scrub. And because the tax benefit is lining the pockets of the wealthy instead of helping low-income areas, a government agency is now investigating the program and Kushner's role in it. An internal watchdog group with the Treasury Department is taking a look into the way the Trump administration is rolling out opportunity zones. The president's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, recently announced he was soliciting investments in these opportunity zones, which prompted the Treasury Department's inspector general to open an inquiry into the program. You could do good things with this money if that was your mission, or you could just make high-end stuff and get a tax break. And that's what you're seeing with Kushner, and I'm, I'm glad the IG is going to look into it. Hopefully Trump doesn't try to squash that. I got a feeling that Trump is going to try and squash that. If there's one thing Trump is good at, it's squashing, whether it's investigations, testimony, or himself into a golf cart. I, I don't think you're going to fit, sir. No, I can squash. So despite Trump's promises, Opportunity Zones ended up benefiting the rich instead of helping the poor. So to answer Trump's original question, these communities have everything to lose if he remains in office. This has been The Check-In.